Hi folks, uh, what we're going to talk about is the patent pending Wagger Bait Jig Trailer. Uh, very simple design, but very effective. It's a hard plastic paddle tail. Okay, a lot different than the soft plastics. What we've done with the hard plastic body is we've added lead to the very back of the paddle tail. What that does, as the tail swings back and forth in its swimming motion, this lead, because it's the area of highest speed, creates a lot of kinetic energy. That causes more water displacement. That kinetic energy is then transferred down the solid arm, would not happen with soft plastic, to the stainless steel screw eye. Now this tail does not have any uh, rattles in it itself, but it creates sound in two different ways. This stainless steel screw eye is threaded over the shank of the hook. So there is impact sound made um, from the contact between the hook shank and the steel. There is also enough uh, kinetic energy created that it causes a momentary hesitation in the forward movement of the jig. So part of the design is adding a snap-on rattle to the hook shank itself. Very simple design, but gives you a lot of water displacement and a lot of noise in your swim big presentation. To prepare your jig, to make it into a wagger bait swim jig, a couple of different modifications are typically going to have to be done. Uh, this is your average swim jig. You'll notice there's a lead soft bait keeper at the back. This can be clipped off or filed off with a Dremel or, or file. Just be very much aware that this is lead. It's a toxic material, so deal with it properly and dispose of it properly. Um, other jigs you may want to use. The Z-Man has a hard plastic bait keeper. That's to hold the Elastec, which is a very soft trailer. That can be taken off with a Dremel also, and your rattle then clipped on. I usually put a, a drop of crazy glue on too when I'm putting on a rattle. It just helps it last a little bit longer. The third type of keeper you may want to or may end up running into are the wire. Now it can be this little clip or it can be a corkscrew. In either case, you can clip them off. Just be very careful. Um, this is spring steel. When you clip it, it's going to jump. So make sure you have eye protection on. You don't want to hurt yourself that way. Uh, some of you may be asking, this jig already has rattles, why would I want to put one on the hook shank? The silicone collar that attaches onto the rattles and keeps it on the jig absorb a lot of the energy and deadens the sound. Some presentations you may want less sound, uh, but if you want to get the full bang out of this uh, design, you want to have the rattle right on the hook shank itself. Uh, the only other modification, uh, you want to trim the skirt so that there is a full range of motion of the tail on the back of the jig. Put the keeper on and you're ready to fish. So that's it for adding it to your jig. Um, thanks for watching. On our next video I'm going to show you what it looks like underwater with a bunch of different jig head designs. Thanks a lot.